Here's the truth about Darwinian evolution, Darwinism, directly from leading Darwinists themselves. Let's review this information that leading Darwinists proclaim about Darwinian evolution and draw some deductions from what we learn so that we can come to an informed conclusion about Darwinism. Truth about Darwinism from leading Darwinists. Franklin Harold, Emerus Professor at Biochemistry and Molecular Biology at Colorado State University stated, quote, we must conclude that there are presently no detailed Darwinian accounts of evolution of any biochemical or cellular system, only a variety of wishful speculations, unquote. Paul Davies, a British-born, internationally acclaimed physicist, writer, and broadcaster who holds the position of Professor of Natural Philosophy in the Australian Center of Astrobiology at Macquarie University, Sydney, admitted, quote, Nobody knows how a mixture of lifeless chemicals spontaneously organized themselves into the first living cell, unquote. Andrew Knoll, professor of biology, Harvard, said, quote, we don't really know how life originated on this planet, unquote. Francis Crick, the co-author, discoverer of the double helix structure of DNA, wrote, quote, biologists must cons constantly keep in mind that what they see is not designed, but rather evolved." Unquote. Richard Dawkins, a professor, British anthropologist, evolutionary biologist, and author wrote, quote, Biology is the study of complicated things that have the appearance of having been designed with a purpose. Unquote. Richard Dawkins also said, quote, Darwinian evolution has been observed it's just that it hasn't been observed while it's happening." Unquote. Harvard plantologist and Darwinian evolutionist Stephen Jay Gould wrote, quote, The extreme rarity of traditional forms in the fossil record persists as a trade secret of plantology. Unquote. Gould also wrote, quote, The maintenance of stability within species must be considered as a major evolutionary problem." Unquote. Dr. Mark Krishner, chairman of the Department of Systems Biology, Harvard Medical School, stated, quote, In fact, over the last 100 years, almost all of biology has proceeded independent of evolution, except evolutionary biology itself. Molecular biology, biochemical bio chemistry, psychology have not taken into account at all Darwinian evolution." Unquote. NAS USA member Dr. Philip Scale wrote, quote, Darwinian explanations for such things are often too supple. Natural selection makes human self-centered and aggressive, except when it makes them altruistic and peaceable. Or natural selection produces vile men who eagerly spread their seed, except when it prefers men who are faithful protectors and providers. When an explanation is so subtle that it can explain any behavior, it is difficult to test it experimentally, much less use it as a catalyst for scientific discovery." Unquote. Because Darwinism is so malleable, as opposed uh, to accommodate almost any conceivable observation, science philosopher Karl Popper, <clears throat> excuse me, famous philosopher of science, said, quote, Darwinism is not a testable scientific theory, but a metaphysical religious research program." Unquote. Dr. Philip Skill also wrote, quote, It is their knowledge of how these organisms actually operate, not speculations about how they may have arisen millions of years ago, that is essential to doctors, veterinarians, farmers, etc. Unquote. Michael Roos, Darwinian evolutionist, science philosopher, admitted, quote, Evolution is a religion. This was true of evolution in the beginning, and it's true of evolution still today." Unquote. Deductions drawn from leading Darwinists about Darwinian evolution. With no detailed Darwinian account of the evolution of any biochemical or cellular system, having only a variety of wishful speculations, nobody knows how a mixture of lifeless chemicals spontaneously organized themselves into the first living cell, thus we don't really know how life originated on this planet per Darwinism. 
Not knowing how life originated on this planet, per Darwinism, we also, with Darwinism, must constantly keep in mind that what we see was not designed, but rather evolved, and always remember that biology is the study of complicated things that have the appearance of having been designed with a purpose. One must remember, too, that although Darwinian evolution hasn't been observed while it's happening, it encounters an extremely rarity of transitional forms in the fossil record, and the maintenance of the stability of within the species must be considered as a major pro uh, problem for evolutionary Darwin and evolutionary. Note that all claimed transitional forms are speculations based upon Darwinian evolution being true, thus its circular reasoning. The contributions of Darwin evolution over the last 100 years has been that almost all of biology has proceeded independent of Darwinian evolution, except Darwinian evolutionary biology itself. Molecular biology, biochemistry, psychology have not taken Darwinian evolution into account at all because when an explanation is so subtle that it can explain any behavior, it's difficult to test it experimentally, much less use it as a catalyst for scientific discovery. Because Darwinism is not a testable scientific theory, but a metaphysical religious research program, it is our knowledge of how these organisms actually operate, not speculations about how they may have arisen millions of years ago, that's essential to doctors, veterinarians, farmers, etc. Conclusions about Darwinian evolution from reading Darwinists about evolution. As Michael Ruse, Darwinian evolution science philosopher, admitted, Darwinian evolution is a religion. This was true of Darwinian evolution in the beginning, and it's true of Darwinian evolution still today. How is it that those people who believe Darwinian evolution is factual actually believe it is fact? Richard Dawkins wrote, quote, The meme for blind faith secures its own perpetuation by a simple unconscious expedient of discouraging rational inquiry. Unquote. It takes the meme for blind faith to believe Darwinian evolution is fact. Conclusion The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have committed abominable sin deeds. There is no one who does good. I have complete confidence in the gospel. It is God's power to save all people who believe. For the gospel reveals how good or how God puts people right with himself. It is through faith from beginning to end, as the scripture says, the person who is put right with God through faith shall live. God's anger is revealed from heaven against all the sin and evil of the people whose evil ways prevent the truth from being known. God punishes them because what can be known about God is plain to them, for God himself made it plain. Ever since God created the world, his invisible qualities, both his external power, physics, or mathematics, logic, etc., and his divine nature, love, morals, etc., have been clearly seen. They are perceived in the things that God has made, universe, earth, life, etc. So those people, atheists, have no excuse at all. They know God, but they do not give him the honor that belongs to him, nor do they thank him. Instead, their thoughts have become complete nonsense. <laughs> the universe created itself from nothing. Life created itself from slime, and Darwinian ev evolved into mankind. And their empty minds are filled with darkness. Suicide is okay, abortion is okay, so forth. They say they are wise, but they are fools. Instead of worshiping the immortal God, they worship images made to look like mortals, birds, animals, reptiles. And so God has given those people over to do the filthy things that their heart desires. Deceitfulness, slander, insulting, disrespect, hate, lust, pornography, drunkenness, etc. And they do shameful things with each other. Adultery, fornication, homosexuality, bestiality, etc. They exchange the truth about God for a lie. Darwinism, multi-universe, string theories. They, atheists, worship and serve what God has created instead of the Creator Himself, who is to be praised forever. Amen. Because they do this, God has given to, over to them to shameful passions. 
Even the women pervert the natural use of their sex by unnatural acts. In the same way, men give up their natural sexual relations with women and burn with passion for each other. Men do shameful things with each other, and as a result, they bring upon themselves the punishment they deserve for their wrongdoings, AIDS, STDs, and so forth. Because these people refuse to keep in mind the true knowledge about God, he has given them over to their corrupt minds so that they can do the things that they should not do. They are filled with all kinds of wickedness, evil, greed, and vice. And they are full of jealousy, murder, fighting, deceit, and malice. They gossip and speak evil of one another and those of who love God. They are hateful to God, insolent, proud, and boastful. They think of more ways to do evil. They disobey their parents. They have no conscience. They do not keep their promises, and they show no kindness or pity for others. They know that God's law says that people who live in this way deserve death. Yet not only do they continue to do these things, but they even approve of each other who do them. It's your choice. You can choose to continue being a fool and ignore God as you've been doing, or you can turn to Him right now and honestly apologize to God for the wrong things that you have done, turning away from continuing to do them, and accept Christ Jesus as full payment for the debt that you owe to God for the things that you've done wrong. It is simply your choice to make. I suggest that you make a wise choice right now, today. Why? You do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You're a mere mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes.